channel. My name is Michaela Smith Campbell, the fashion designer and founder for the fashion design brand, Max Smith, and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to be going over a thrift haul, and this is probably my fourth or my fifth thrift haul for you guys. I love doing thrift hauls. I love thrifting. I thrift like, I'm honestly guilty of thrifting like probably like a couple, a few times a month. And this past weekend, I went to Savers just to look around. I ended up getting like about a few items, like about like maybe 10. So you'll see in this video probably 10 items or maybe less than 10 items actually. And a lot of them were basic pieces. In my previous video that I did post, it was a video on basic essential pieces that you should have in your wardrobe. So some of these items will be a little bit familiar. I posted or I did that video a couple of days ago and I already posted it by this the time this video comes out so you'll see a few familiar items if you guys watched my channel and you guys are subscribed to my channel if you haven't already please give this channel a thumbs up Ooh. if you guys haven't already please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification so you guys get notifications every time I drop content on fashion and all things design in the future and then if you guys want to follow me on my Instagram my brand's Instagram for Max Smith is at original Max Smith and my personal Instagram, if you guys are interested, is at Mackie since 97. <clears throat> Let's get into this video, you guys. Okay, so the first item, I normally don't do this item. I normally don't wear these kind of things, but the first item, I'll just show you guys. The first item is a poncho, and I don't do ponchos normally, my style, but I mean, I fell for it because I just envisioned like denim shorts for some reason in like the springtime, even now you can wear it, I guess, um, the poncho, and because it hasn't been too cold out, it's December and it hasn't really snowed out where I live, but I honestly like this poncho because it's V-neck. I always talk about it in all my videos, almost all my videos. I love v-neck so I can show off my necklaces and whatnot um, but yeah I loved it how it was basic it was black it was v-neck and I honestly wanted to get this challenge myself to layer and because layering I usually layer using blazers sweater vests um, overcoats that's how I've been layering lately so I kind of wanted to challenge myself and buy myself a poncho this one was $7.99 I didn't have a coupon this past weekend so I paid full price $7.99 and this is from Mac Studio it's wool nylon and spandex which is such a great I honestly love um, natural material because they just last you so long if you take care of it it's just great quality materials um, natural fiber materials are just such great quality quality Ooh, quality material so this will definitely last me a long time I know that I'll get a lot of wearability out of it um, and again you make sure you're washing your items and looking at the um, content the care content labels just so that it lasts you longer and you're not throwing this in your washer when it's wool and it like shrinks like crazy I loved how it had a slit opening uh, where the arms would go. And I honestly want to wear like a button up blouse underneath this. I'm thinking like a white one, a cream one. I'm thinking of two, just button up and then I can just have it like my necklaces over. I don't know why. That's what I'm thinking of, of like buttoning it up and then having this like loose on me and you can see the buttons. Or what I'm thinking of is just having in like the warmer, months or the warmest seasons having like a tank top over it having my denim shorts like i previously just said and like tucking the front end to kind of have that gathering dramatic moment so i'm really excited to style this i cannot wait um i definitely feel like i wanted to challenge myself with this that's why i bought it my next piece we have a oversized sweater vest so this brand was old navy and this ended up being 3.99 again no coupon this weekend i didn't use any and i love this heathered gray material um i didn't see the content on it it doesn't say the content what it's made out of but i really wait does it i'm lying so it's cotton acrylic and polyester but i think it's i said i said 58% cotton but I mean I tried this on when I got home after purchasing it and I loved it you guys the shoulders actually kind of droop over I don't like droopy shoulders because as as enough as it is the neck the turtleneck is very oversized and baggy and then the bottom is very long baggy and oversized so I didn't want droopy shoulders so what I'm planning to do is I'm planning on tucking and sewing 
it in the shoulder, like sewing the shoulder in, to kind of make it look like um, those shoulder padded tops, just to add some structure to it since it's all very droopy and oversized. So I'm super excited for this. I love, I normally don't do tight turtlenecks, but I love how this turtleneck was very droopy because I feel like I like to have some air and wiggle room in my neck. Um, when it comes to turtlenecks, so I usually don't get into turtlenecks unless they're like droopy and oversized like this one. But I definitely do imagine myself wearing a button up blouse underneath this and just having like the sleeve the puffy sleeves and the drama and i see myself wearing denim or like trousers and either a neutral color or like a black black style trouser so i really like this um again i feel like i was challenging myself because my sweater vests aren't turtlenecks they're usually just a regular crew or v-necks and they're also a lot shorter than this this is like probably like a little higher than mid thigh but I mean I definitely feel like this is a challenge I loved it so I grabbed it of course next up I have trousers these trousers are a hundred percent merino wool I love this and they're even lined I've been getting so lucky in the trouser department at thrift stores lately I've just been blessed because I love trousers again like I said in my last video I had trousers as a great basic piece essential for your wardrobe and I didn't have gray trousers. I had white, I had cream, beiges, but I had every basic color except for gray. So I was really happy I found a dark gray. These are high-waisted and pleated and of course if I wanted to add one of my leather belts with like those pretty brass buckles on it, I could because it, they have belt loops, but these cinch in my waist dramatically, you guys, pleated, and I just love them. 100% wool, beautifully lined, and these were $6.99 at the thrift store. So I think these are such a steal. I feel like I was stealing this weekend with these um, because you get natural fiber, and since it's cold out, these are really gonna keep me warm, you guys. I can see myself wearing overcoats with these. I can even see myself wearing those cropped, oversized, um, sweaters with the bell sleeves i can really see myself wearing this a lot and styling this a lot in so many different ways next up a beautiful ribbed knit top this is long sleeve and i love how the neck line kind of goes into the shirt itself i just think it was so beautiful how it just twisted into the shirt and the bodice and this was $7.99 from international concept brands this was $7.99 it is super soft um what really took me away was how fitting it was well i mean on the rack when i saw this i love the color i thought this was a great basic piece it was a v-neck so it sold me instantly and this was very fitted you guys i loved how fitted it was um i loved how soft and comfortable the fabric was so of course i had to get it when i tried it on at home it fit me it like draped on my body you guys um and just with fitted rib knit tops i think they're just so easy to style in the colder seasons fall spring sometimes on cooler summer days because this isn't thick this is kind of like a thinner fabric but i mean the elasticity on this makes it so comforting and it just fits me so well i can see myself wearing this with jeans trousers skirts i can see myself wearing this in so many different ways you guys so this was a steal for me this is the back i really love this this is one of my favorite and the trousers that i just showed you guys from this haul tell me what you guys think about the rib knit tops because i feel like i've been seeing a lot of them on line like at zara i always check out zara mango to see like what's trending um i look at like so many other places like websites like vogue and everything i just look at so many different websites and um whatnot to see what's trending but i just feel like this has have been coming back these tight rib knits i don't know i love them though i love it next up which i really love and i've been trying to find like one of those croissant looking, I don't even know what you call them, like tops I've been seeing and like so many of the luxury brands have been selling. And I ended up finding something very similar to the croissant style. And I literally gasped when I saw this. Um, I thought this was super beautiful. It was a V-neck in the front and in the back. So that's really crazy that, you know, and it was fitted, it was my color tone, it was perfect when I saw this. The brand is Mango, actually, and I love Mango, and it was $3.99. There's not a content label on it, you guys, so I don't know what exactly it's made out of, but I'll, I don't know exactly what it's made out of, but like, all I can tell you that is that it's super soft, 
It's super stretchy, so it's really fitting. Um, when I tried this on when I got home, I I instantly fell in love. It was fitted in all the right places. The sleeves, because they're really big and obnoxious and ribbed, they were bulky on me. The sleeves and big and oversized the way I like it, but the bodice itself was actually form fitting, so I could wear this. And it, you know, it's just like a sexy, comfortable look. And I've been trying to get like into the more sexier, but like toned down effortless looks that are comfortable still for my body. It's a basic piece or it's a basic color tone. So I could wear this with trousers. I could wear this with jeans, sweatpants even, hell. Like I could wear this in so many different ways. So I'm super excited to like really go all out with my jewelry with this one and wear statement earrings with this. I just love this, you guys. And the back look is very similar to the front, both of the neck. And yeah, I said $3.99. Next up is another sweater. I wore this in my last video. This is a boucle fabric sweater. And the material, I don't know where the material tag is. Let me see. But the brand is Uniqlo. And I paid about $5.99 for this item. It's 100% polyester. And it's lined, which is unique because I've never seen a lined sweater before. So I thought that was super cool. But it's super soft. It's really thick, you guys. Um, and just the texture. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know if the camera's showing it. Boucle, at least with interior design, with the high luxury interior design, is an in thing. So I thought it was really cool that actually this there was a shirt and it was a piece of fashion that I could wear um, I've been seeing boucle a lot on Arvin Alano he's also another huge youtuber um, Arvin Alano's channel he gets into a lot of home decor and he has an amazing luxurious expensive taste at mostly affordable prices he always does you know, when he started off, I literally watched him like for almost like over a year now. He's been doing YouTube since like the beginning of COVID, I think he said on one of his Q and A's. I've been watching him for such a long time and since he started doing like home goods hauls with home decor and now he does so many like vintage, you know, hauls, small, he shops from small brands. So definitely check him out on his Instagram, which is at Arvin Alano. But I honestly get so much inspiration from him. And honestly, when I saw this sweater on the rack, I instantly thought of him because of the material, um, the boucle material, but I just love this. This feels so luxurious, and I wore this with just my gold necklaces, but I have thicker necklaces. I would love to wear this with this. So last, but certainly not least, on my list is another sweater, and this was just a cozy sweater, you guys. I had to pick this up because it's a crew neck sweater. I'm, I'm a sucker for crew neck sweaters, and I loved the color, for one, I think this color is, for me, a basic essential color because it matches so many different things in my wardrobe without me even having to think about what to pair this with for overcoats or trousers or jeans. It just matches the this beige color. And then I loved the artwork, um, whoever printed artwork on this. Um, oh, this is Primark. The brand is Primark, but I loved this color and this one I already washed, but I believe it was around like three, $3.49 I want to say, $3.49 I want to say, but don't quote me on that because I took this off like two weeks ago, the tag when I first bought it. Or yeah, it was like two weeks ago or maybe this weekend or a week ago, I don't even know, I'm getting my weeks mixed up. Yeah, the tag's already off, but I believe I paid $3.49 for it. And yeah, I honestly love the artwork, you guys. I felt like with this artwork, it reminded me of like Pinterest because you see like the basic artwork of like people having this in like wooden frames and hanging it in their walls next to like their spider plants and stuff. But I honestly love this. I was just like, you know what? I'd want a piece of artwork on my shirt when I'm walking around, black, simple. Guys, it's cozy. Um, it's like a fleece knit material inside, so it's super warm as well. So that is all I have for you guys today on this thrift haul. It's a mini thrift haul. It's less than 10 items, I believe. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up too. As usual, tell a friend if you have to, to get them to share, like it, you name it. Just have them do it. Um, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.